earlier this morning, representatives from the Jack Daniels Company were ringing the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange in honor of the 150th anniversary of its first distillery. So what's next for the storied liquor brand? Here with a little bit of history and a look to the future is Jack Daniels master distiller, Jeff Arnett. Welcome, Jeff, and congratulations on 150 years. Was that fun, ringing the bell? It was. It definitely was. You know, like I said, it was a bucket list item. Yeah. So I've been able to check that off. My first time to do it and probably the last time I'll ever get to do it in my life time but it was a it was a real pleasure amazing 150 years that's quite yes. a milestone it is the first registered distillery in the u.s correct and jack daniels was he an actual man he was you know actually jack was not his name his name was uh, jasper newton daniel and jack was his nickname and that's the name he wanted he preferred to go by that he was only five foot two wow. uh, wore a size four boots he was not a huge person but uh amazing. i think bigger than life uh, did he in, see a in fortune a in his lifetime or did it happen later he did see some success yeah, in his good. lifetime he died in 1911 but he won a gold medal in 1904 uh, and we don't know why he called it the old number seven brand but it won seven gold medals uh, and at least you know one of those two of those in his lifetime so he saw the success of the brand before he passed amazing are there some of favorite myths of the the label you like to tell people things maybe people get wrong well you know a lot of times you know people don't understand Tennessee whiskey and what that title means we often get called a, a bourbon and we're and we are very similar to bourbon you know as an American whiskey uh, bourbon is one of the most popular types but Tennessee whiskey is slightly different uh, we do everything that bourbon does but we do an additional step that's regional to Tennessee called charcoal mellowing uh, so we slowly drip every drop of Jack Daniels through 10 feet of hard sugar maple before we put it in the barrel. And it's that additional step that gives us our smooth character, makes us unique. Amazing. And yeah. as master distiller, is that your job? Your job is quality <laughs> control, basically? 80% of my time is spent in Lynchburg. So I oversee all the whiskey making operations for Jack Daniels. And then I spend about 50 to 60 days a year out on the road. Uh, we're sold in over 160 countries now. And I've visited 30 of those in the last eight years. So Amazing. a good chance to get out and shake people's hands and get to know people who are fans of ours. Amazing. Now, we know we've seen a boom in the past few years in brown spirits. Yes. Has Jack Daniels benefited from this directly? We, we have, for sure. You know, it was actually the 50s, 60s, and 70s where when brown spirits and whiskeys were really popular, uh, and then they kind of went into a decline, and then vodka uh, through the 80s, 90s, and 2000s kind of became the preferred drink. But that has recently changed, so we have seen sort of a renaissance uh, of whiskey, and we're hoping that that's going to be another 30-year yeah. uh, trend. Yeah. Uh, we're certainly counting on it. But even through the years that whiskeys weren't necessarily doing so well, Jack Daniels was very fortunate to be able to grow uh, through that time frame. So even, you know, in, in good markets and in bad markets, Jack Daniels has shown itself to be uh, pretty durable uh, and, and to be able to, to build uh, loyalty uh, and to build a fan base. So it's, it's a great brand. Uh, I'm very honored to be able to, to represent it. For I'm sure. sure. And, and what do you have planned now for the next 150 years? <laughs> Any big plans for the future? You know, I think the market will, will largely dictate yeah. that. You know, it was only eight years ago when I became master distiller. Um, you know, in this 150 year period, there have been 28 U.S. presidents 12 popes, but only seven whiskey makers at Jack Daniels, so that's a pretty short list. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we were kind of in a sleepy period, yeah. uh, and we only had three different things that we had in our family of brands, we call it. We had our old number seven, which is our most popular. We had Gentleman Jack and Single Barrel, but now we have nine. Right. So just in the last eight years, we've kind You've of proliferated. You've developed some new ones. Sure, and, and that speaks to the fact that, you know, more people than ever interested in whiskeys right now, and they have uh, maybe a little bit more of a segmented taste. Yeah, uh, they're, all right. They're not coming to Jack Daniels necessarily for Black Label, but they like rye, they like barrel proof, some other products. That well, we've come out with. Thank you so much for bringing some. Yeah. Can we have a little taste? Oh, absolutely. I'd be honored. <laughs> this is a great way for us to end the show. So absolutely. thank you so much. You thank you. How do you like to drink it? You like it I on the rocks? I drink it on the rocks. All this right. is my preferred way. So All as right. a master distiller, uh, this is my guy. I will listen to you, the master distiller. <laughs> absolutely. Cheers. Jack on the rocks. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Delicious. Yep. Thank you so much. You know, one of the things I really like about our old number seven is its balance. It's got equal parts sweet and oak. You can kind of almost catch a, a little bit of a banana note in it. Oh, yeah. Like pear. Is this your favorite, the number seven? It's the one I drink the most it's of. It's the one you drink you the know, most. I think okay. probably my most favorite right now is Barrel Proof uh, because I think that's the purest form of it. It's literally just what comes out of the barrel. Uh, it yeah. can be 125 up to 140 proof, so probably not just for, for anyone. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, just a small pour uh, with an ice cube on it is, is exceptional. Well, this is delicious. Thank Jack, you. Thank, you thank you so you. much Cheers. for coming. Cheers. Yes.